Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, looking at oil on the daily, weekly, and shorter term time frame. So the bulls finally closed the week over $50, the first time in about 15 months that that has happened. And it was a very clear resistance level. And it is a very significant technical development in the longer term trend, which we will look at here on the weekly time frame. So the daily time frame, bullish reversal hammer holding the 10 day moving average support after a little consolidation on decreasing bear volume, which is exactly what the bulls want to see was not confirmed even though we got a higher low and a higher high that's weak confirmation but we are still holding the 10-day moving average support of 5007 so that's important to keep an eye on as the bulls still do have control of the daily time frame from here though we've seen a high of 5160 today 5114 if we were to pull back and break 4936 it will be a lower high and a lower low and we know further consolidation is coming but as of right now we will take it one day at a time and see if the bulls can maintain the 10-day moving average support so here's the weekly time frame. I want to zoom back a little bit so we can get the clear picture. With all the rejections from 50, putting the cursor there, see that line? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rejections. Now $50 is support. Bullish MACD cross. And we're looking for upside from here. I'm looking at 51.67 as a clear resistance level. That was the high from back in June. And the high of this week, 51.60, no surprise that it's a lower high. So the bulls still have some work to do. It technically could be a bearish reversal inverted hammer on the weekly time frame. That upper wick is significant, and the real body of the candlestick is fairly small. But it is a, a win in terms of the psychological level becoming support. And the next resistance after 51.67, we're looking at this gap at 56.50. And there's price action around 58 and 60. So there's a nice 10% plus to the upside here for oil on the midterm time frame looking out a couple of months. So let's look at the shorter term time frames. We had a bounce overnight from the 13th pretty much to the 14th to this morning. And even though we did break some of these lower high patterns, we didn't break the longer term lower high. So here's our high 51.59, 51.50, 51.17, and then today we topped out 51.14, a lower high by three pennies leading to an all out dump. So some signals of weakness, we had a tighter and tighter and tighter range form until that dump occurred, very clear that the bears were in control. Then we saw a bullish reversal candlestick holding $50 psychological support, another example, tighter, tighter range, and then a big bull break with the bulls putting that last emphasis at the end of the day to make sure and maintain that $50 level of support. So looking at it from a different perspective, the four hour chart, condensing things a little bit more and zooming out. We can see we very clearly are still in a longer term uptrend on this four hour chart looking out a couple weeks, but the past few days has been a lower high pattern and now a higher low pattern. So the range is tightening and we'll see a clear break of this higher low and lower high pattern. And we can draw a couple of trend lines here on this four hour chart. That's your uptrend support line. And in terms of resistance, And I don't really like using that level because we can't get the most recent lower high. So playing with your downtrend and uptrend lines is, you know, you can play with it and move it around and see what fits best for you. So it's only hit this uptrend line twice. Well, we've actually hit it a few times now. So I like this pattern and we're going to be watching this into next week. And we'll see if we get a clear bullish or bearish break. Anytime you see higher lows and lower highs, you can draw a nice tightening pattern and the trend lines can help you get a clear sight on that. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks for all the likes and the shares. We'll see if those bulls can maintain $50 into next week. Hope you have a great weekend. See you soon.